Hey, how y'all doing today? Today I'm making you a video on a Samsung refrigerator that's got ice built up. Typically the refrigerator compartment will not get cold enough. So here I'm defrosting the back edge of the refrigerator compartment. You can see there's ice built up here. It's sort of hard to see, but there is a little bit of ice built up there. Frost built up basically. So I'm going to show you a couple tips on how to fix this. I use a whatever hot air gun to uh, melt some of the ice. This particular one took a long time. Here I'm going to che check the uh, temperature sensor unit. This is a brand new sensor unit. And so you can, you can see that this brand new sensor unit has a reading. If your part is open, if you have an open reading on your meter, then it's likely your, your uh, temperature sensor is going to be bad. And that was the problem with this, this particular unit here. We had a bad temperature sensor and the drain was clogged as well. And so this temperature, you can buy them online, eBay and stuff. They're like 10 or 15 bucks. You can also go to searspartsdirect.com. That's where I buy a lot of my parts and or get cross-reference numbers for these parts. This fridge actually took me two hours to repair. The defrost tube was like really frozen. The defrost tube on these particular Samsungs uh, are problematic and I will stick a wire down there and wrap it around the heat element to solve this problem. Here I'm removing the back panel inside the refrigerator compartment. Uh, you pull the uh, little light covers off and there are two Phillips screws under uh, those light covers, one on each side. And they just basically pop off. If you pull them out, it'll pop off. And then there were four other screws on the bottom that hold the back panel in place. This is the back panel that holds the fan and there's also some wiring harnesses you need to disconnect to pull that out. And here you can see the frost build up inside the machine after I pulled the back cover off. Defrost drain is plugged up here. We can see the ice has clogged the drain. It will not drain. It will cause the ice to build up and back up and cause poor flow in the refrigerator compartment as well as it may as may also block the fan that circulates the air. Here we take a look at the fan and this fan you can see that's got a big chunk of ice on one side of it. I've already defrosted this for about a half hour and pulled out most of the ice. You want to make sure that all the ice is out of that um, blower housing. There are these connections that hold the uh, wires for the blower and the lights and you have to be careful when you disconnect that back panel to carefully disconnect those wires. If you can send me a donation that will help support reuse and recycling worldwide. Here once again I use the heat gun to try and defrost anything. Be careful if you use a heat gun it may melt some of the plastic. Sometimes I'll put my hand near the end and so I can feel how hot it's getting. This particular one had a very problematic drain tube. Typical with this Samsung model. The defrost heat element does not extend far enough down or the coils are too close to the defrost drain which causes this problem. I use hot soapy water to clean drains often and so I'll just pour hot soapy water and then sometimes use a coat hanger to kind of try and get in there to clean that drain out. Here I go around the back of the machine and clean the coils and then that white tube there we just saw is the drain tube. That drain tube, that white tube there, needs to be clear. You need to have water coming out of there. This is part of that drain tube. It's like a little drip diaphragm that is, it can get clogged with mold. You need to clean that out and make sure that that thing is, is free and all the tubes are free that go down on that particular Samsung.
Here we go around to the back again, and I'm warming up the back side of it to clear the uh, ice buildup in the drain tube. Uh, you don't have to do this, but if you're in a pinch, you want to get it done quick, um, you should do this. Otherwise, just leave your machine unplugged for uh, maybe five hours and it'll melt all that stuff and you, you'll uh, be able to do this a little bit easier. So, sometimes you can stick a wire up from the bottom up, to the, up through the drain tube to clear it out. Now here I'm using a copper wire to wrap around the heat element to extend down into the drain tube to allow the heat to transfer from the defrost heater into the drain tube so the ice does not build up in the drain tube. I've wrapped around a wire around that heat element to extend down the drain tube.